Hey yo, what is that? What is that? Oh god damn. Hi, welcome to Singapore. The land of culture, art, and most importantly, food. Food in Singapore is taken very seriously. The famous city of Hawker Center is a true island of fishing. From Michelin star fire dining to cheap hawker food, you will always find Singaporeans lining up at coffee shop and local hawker center and going on some of the island's best meal. Simply follow the crowd or stop by any of the food center. You will find whatever morsel lies at the end. It is sure to be scrumptious. Today we are going to look at some of the best street food in Singapore. Let's go! On the number 10 position, we have BBQ Sambal Stingray. One man trash is another man treasure. And for Stingray, this statement holds much true, as most fishermen consider this fish an unwanted catch. But for us Singaporean, BBQ Stingray is a need to have a supper table. Through this seafood is commonly found in many hawker centers. This popular street food of Singapore is inspired by the Malay cultural, as they were the one who discovered that sambal on top of stingray is delicious. Sambal is a special sauce made from chili pepper, shrimp, fish salt, salad, sugar, vinegar, and ginger. Combined with a soft, delicate, and extensive stingray meat, the palate is exquisite. This dish tastes best when barbecued. This is also known as ikan bakar and is traditionally wrapped in banana leaf and barbecued with sambal on top. In the end, lamb is squeezed on the dish for better taste. Next up, we have bak chow mi. Bak chow mi, which translates to minced meat noodle, is a noodle dish tossed in vinegar, minced meat, pork slime, pork liver, steel slime mushroom, meatball, and a bit of deep fried lard. The addition of chili is optional and you have a choice of mi pork or a flat egg noodle, a mi kia tin egg noodle. You can also choose between the dry version and the soup version. Traditional hawker will also add a few small pieces of fried crispy sofis and Chinese lettuce as garnishing. This delicious dish is soupy, meaty and moody all at once. Fancy having a tender, juicy grilled kebab on bamboo skewer, served with a distinctive, crunchy peanut based dip. Go to Singapore and have a satay right now. No? Scratch that? Have 10 or even 20 and grab some dumpling while you're at it. This street food of Singapore is a local delicacy made of pork, chicken, beef, or mutton which is candy and skewer. Satay has its inception from Indonesia, but had become very popular in Singapore, from both fancy restaurants and hawker center. The meat is marinated with turmeric, which is barbecue in open air, skewer with peanut sauce, onion, and rice dumpling. This snack can be eaten all day long, but get your soon as they are sell out quick. On the seventh position, we have roti prata. Crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. Roti prata hit the spot every time. A South Indian fried bread made by frying fresh dough, flavor with ghee or Indian clarified butter. This is usually served with fish or mutton curry. This Indian delicacy is a must-eat street food of Singapore for every traveler. Crisp, crunchy, doughy, and soft prata dunk in delicious and tangy curry as to get your mouth watering and hungry for more. Made of wheat, flour, and served with beef, chicken, fish, or vegetable curry, this Indian fat bread will linger long after you savor it. Don't know what to eat for breakfast? Kaya Toast is here for help. It's a popular Singaporean breakfast consists of two slices of toast spread filled with kanya, a traditional spread made with sugar, egg, coconut milk, and pandan flavoring. So this is typically served with a slice of butter and two semi-boiled eggs on the side, paired with a cup of milk, tea, or hot coffee. 
There are many variations of this Singaporean street food favorite, including round bun or brown bread. The dish is also sometimes fused with pepper and dark soya sauce, dipping the canyatos in the egg mixture for extra deliciousness. Both green and brown variations of canyatos are available. The green one made from pandan leaf, while the brown one a result of caramelized brown sugar. For number 5, we have fried carrot cake. The popular street food in Singapore, fried carrot cake is ironically a black and white dish rather than the bright orangey dessert carrot cake that we all know. It's completely savory, eaten for breakfast and contains no carrot whatsoever. Carrot cake is made with white carrot with also known as radish cake cube, stir fry with egg and preserve radish, then flavor with seasoning. Chilies is a must to give this dish an extra kick. Two variations exist, black or white. The former is fried with dark soy sauce which give it sweetness, whether the latter is where the carrot cake is fried only with beaten egg to form a crispy crust. Moving on, we have cha kway chow, literally translating to stir-fry rice noodle. This Singaporean street food is a staple at Hawker Center, getting sold out instantly. The taste bud will call out this mixture of noodle, flat rice and egg noodle, stir protein like egg and Chinese sausage. This is also mixed with Chinese chai and green sprout. The heart of this dish is lard, which makes it super delicious but sometimes for healthier variation. This is replaced by oil and served with more vegetable instead of protein. This is often served on a banana leaf to enhance the fragrance with a wedge of lime squeezed on the top. This dish is beloved for its greasy meat and wok hay, which is sort of almost burnt char taste that tastes absolutely magical. Do Singaporeans eat the whole head of fish? Of course they do! This dish consists of the head of fish marinate and cook in curry sauce with a mixture of vegetable like eggplant and okra. This dish is called fish head curry. Having origin in Kerala and Malaysia, this street food of Singapore is best eaten with rice or roti. Curry fish heads is an enigmatic dish which has a South Indian origin but inspired by the culture of Singapore. Either the whole head or half a head of a red snapper is cooked in curry with boiled vegetable. The fish head was fresh, tender, juicy, and aromatic to our. The creamy and luscious curry broth had penetrated it entirely. The curry packed just enough spice and heat. Fish head curry is one delectable dish that Singaporean can have to spoon up, especially when it's bubbling in large clay pot. In the number 2 position, we have chili crab, listed as the 25th most delicious food in the world by CNN Go. The Singaporean chili crab is a stir-fried crustacean dish, doused in sweet, spicy, and savory tomato sauce, served with deep-fried bun called manto. This street food is a Singapore staple, which is a must try for seafood enthusiasts. There are two styles of cooking crab in Singapore with a sweet, spicy, tomato with chili sauce or with black pepper sauce. The crab is divine, but the sauce is a star. Sweet yet savory, slightly spicy, and supremely satisfying. You will get it all over your finger as you crack open the crab shell, and it's simply impossible not to lick it all up. Last but not least, on the number one position, we have Hanali Chicken Rice. Found at almost every dining spot in Singapore, fine dining restaurant to a humble hawker center. Adapt from the early Chinese immigrant from Hanan Islands. It's a bite slice of pork chicken or even a whole chicken served with fragrant rice, ginger paste, and spicy chili. Recipe vary, but the main idea is to slowly poach a whole burn in a light broth with ginger and garlic, then serve the meat at room temperature with rice cooked in the poaching liquid. What makes it special is the spice and sauce used, which gives the dish a unique lingering and leaf smacking taste. 
When done right, the flesh is marvelous, tender and silky, with a rich layer of fat and skin on top. The rice is also subtly flavor, with hint of chicken essence in every bite, and a squeeze of lamb or dash of hot sauce is all the dish needs to fill you up on a hot summer day. Did you enjoy the video? Which food did you enjoy the most? Which dish are you eager to try? Comment below and let us know. Anyway, it's fun to see you again. Bye!